Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the Common Sense Crypto Channel. As with you always, this is Rich doing another video today on QNT. But before I get started, please click the like and subscribe button as it helps this channel grow very quickly. So we're looking at QNT sitting here at $95. Think to yourself, would I buy Bitcoin at $95 if you knew where it was going in the future? If you knew it was going to hit $69,000? Well, that's what you're looking at right now, because in my opinion, Q&T is the Bitcoin of the future. So let's take a look at today's video. Have a look at Q&T if you haven't already. Best tokenomics slash utility I've seen to date and performing well in the bear market to date. And that's the thing. Think about it like this. If Q&T is performing well in crypto winter in the bear market, think about how massive it's going to be when we come out of this i believe a lot of these prices are just being suppressed at this point so 14 million q and t tokens and you got one of them and now imagine you bought a bag of them short-term pain long-term gain utility always wins and i believe we're going to go into a full-blown utility run at some point and when we do coins like q and t are going to be massive at that point, if you didn't buy at these prices now, when Q&T finally takes off, you may be able to buy a piece of it, like a lot of people buy pieces of a Bitcoin. Then there's whole coiners out there, the people that bought early on, you know, are institutional investors. But we're retail investors. Now's the time you buy, because later you won't be able to touch these assets, in my opinion. So I don't think a token like Q&T will necessarily require a bull run to do well. Once utility kicks in, price action will follow. And that's what I was just saying. Because think about it. We go into a full on utility run. The coins with the most utility and the most use case will shine the brightest. They will be worth the most. And I believe it's right around the corner. So one use case involves multi-ledger tokens for central banks, banks, fintech, marketplaces, and micropayment, mi micropayment platforms. This brings huge utility to the payment space as the over-ledger interconnects the top public and private DLTs with CBDCs and stablecoins. It's going to tie the whole system together. It, it, this is exactly what we're looking at when we're looking at Q&T. So we see Q&T, it's this tree right here, okay? But look at what it's tied to. It is going to, you know, be huge. It's going to grow massively very quick. And we see it tied to Algorand. We see it tied to XDC, Stellar, Ripple, Oracle, Interledger. I mean, it goes on and on. And the thing is, it's getting built upon every day. All the new technology coming out that's ISO, ties to ISO, ties to CBDCs are all going to be part of this system. And the system is going to become bigger and bigger and bigger. And as it gets bigger, the price of utility coins are going to expand and are going to grow. Think about how people always say XRP gets to 10K, right? Well, I think short term, Ripple would probably hit easy 100 to $500 based on utility and use case. Now, we're talking about Q&T. So think about it. It's at $100 now. Where do you think the price will be maybe once all this utility kicks in? I'm thinking $1,000 is the first stop. Then after that, it'll hit five digits in my opinion. It has a lot of utility. It has a lot of use case. It's the operating system to run the entire system. Think about it like that. And then we see this. And this is a very good way of describing Q&T. Because it connects any network to any network at scale without overhead or limits. You see treaty contracts. You see creates applications that deploy and connects across multiple blockchains. Enterprise and institutional grade multi chain oracles. Overledger network is a scalable P2P network with layer two payment channels. I always say it on this channel if your cryptocurrency deals with payments, it's going to be massive. That's just payments. 
Now look at what, what quant ties together because it's the over ledger operating system. We see this. This will most likely become Web3 at some point because we see Twitter, Facebook, eBay, you know, all the companies that are we see all the time in the Internet 2.0. But then we see payments, Google Pay, Amazon Pay, Apple Pay. But then we see blockchains. We also see it tied to Bitcoin, Cardano, Stellar, XRP, IOTA. Then we see enterprise blockchains, CRDA, Hyperledger, Quantum, Ethereum. But then we also see banking, JP Morgan, Citibank, Barclays, Oracle. Oracle's huge. Then we see this. This is technology, Cisco, Intel, Samsung, IBM. Now how big do you think Q&T can get? I believe it is going to be so big. You think Flare is going to be big? I think Q&T has the ability to be bigger than Flare. And I think the price of Q&T is easily going to surpass where Bitcoin has gone. Think about Bitcoin with utility, with use case. Think about it like that. Bitcoin by now would have hit $100,000 in my opinion if it had some sort of utility or use case. Quant has it all. And it ties all of this together. It's payments, blockchains, enterprise technology, banking, web 3.0, every single thing will be tied to quant. Then we see this, quant utility token overview, enterprise licenses, developer licenses, platform fees, identity and account, investment, store value, gateways and staking, application users, transaction processing. That's how big this is going to be. So I'm going to ask you again, would you buy Bitcoin under $100? Because in my opinion, that's what you're buying when you buy Q&T. That was not all I meant. The utility and tokenomics of Q&T and DAG are so good that once their business model starts running, the PA will decouple from the speculative crypto market and will more and more dependent of the success of the software they are offering. That's exactly what I've been saying all along. And at some points, you could see Q&T breaking away from the rest of the market. When it's not moving with Bitcoin like it always, like everybody thinks it should. But we've seen it actually move without Bitcoin. Q&T has more to offer than just being a CryptPot-related uh, asset. Patented solution, interoperability to legacy systems, tokenomics, team, experience... From 2023 onward, the Latin American dollar will be introduced. Q&T is confirmed to be part of it. Think about that. So they're going to be part of the Latin American digital dollar. So network and DLTs that were siloed can now connect. And we see Fast Company recently covered Q&T work on opening new cross-border and domestic payment opportunities in Latin America and the Caribbean with LAC chain and Oracle. Remember I said Oracle is big and it's and the ties to IBM will always be massive because IBM is building the new financial system. These ISO coins that we talk about on this channel all the time are a safe bet. I know you're not going to get wrecked in these coins. That is why we talk about them. I never want to see you lose money. In fact, I want to see all of you get rich. And this is the way you do it. You invest in cryptocurrencies like Q&T at a low price, a price you can afford. You never buy in more than you can afford to lose. In other words, you never want to be investing and saying, oh, I got to cash out my crypto to live this month. You don't invest like that. You take a little bit and you buy a little bit, piece by piece, until you build a portfolio. And at some point, that portfolio is going to skyrocket and make you a wealthy person. These cryptocurrencies, no one can tell you a good price in the future. They can only speculate. Even when I tell you I'm speculating based on utility and based on use case, Q&T I can see easily getting to $100,000 based on what it does. With that said, I'm going to wrap up today's video. I want to thank you all for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Have a great night.